Oh shit, what's this enemy? Anyway, it's just fighting it just to see. 56, it deals 25 to 27.4. Hello everyone, X Falcon here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sky Hill. And so, as you can see in the first episode, I pretty much failed in proceeding that much and so that um, that particular session was on hard difficulty so maybe I'll try doing another session on normal just to see how much I can go with it so yeah I, I thought um, that I'll do something like this you know um, per episode would be um, one whole session well I guess that depends on how long um, the the time I'm already recording and all that but usually what I'm gonna try doing is that you know one episode equals one whole session or something like that but just in case that I use up a lot of time then of course I'll you know maybe split it into two parts or something like that or two videos or I should say so yeah I don't um, you know, I've already learned my lesson. <laughs> Start off with making long videos. First off, it's really hard to manage um, uploading them because it takes a long time to render, to upload and all that. As well as, you know, long videos can get quite dull and boring to be honest. And I'm sure you understand that as well. And yeah, of course there are also exceptions to that. But still, you know. Uh, as a generally speaking that's what I think about that anyway let's go start with this what should I choose for a perk again anyway I won't be getting this deductive method it isn't as useful as I thought it would be anyway maybe I'll go with survival kit because I'm really always almost always hard-pressed with food and and I'll still go with passive um, rampage perk. Okay, let's go. I came to this town okay, I guess I can pretty much skip that because we've already watched that one as well as the first few audio clips that we already have in hand. On yeah. Anyway. I've got nothing else to do here, so let's go down immediately. Left, right. Maybe this is a dream, just a bad dream. Okay, finally. Uh, I quickly got a weapon, that's good. Unlike our first few encounters in the <laughs> first episode, I didn't have any weapons, so... You know, that was quite hard to manage fighting enemies with only bare fists. I almo <laughs> almost ran out of health. With just one encounter but yeah hopefully I can manage much much better with this one and now we finally got an enemy uh, as usual I'll go for the head then body then arms there we go good combination well assuming that the headshot would hit quickly but since it's 50% chance, I'm really pretty much just, you know, relying on RNG. <laughs> and as I mentioned, yeah, it missed twice. <laughs> okay, there we go, finally. Extra turn, hey, that's nice. Another body shot. Damn it. There we go. I don't have money, sadly, and another enemy. As much as I want to, you know, just skip skip enemies and all that, it's, uh, you know, quite risky because who knows, maybe there are good items inside the room that they are residing in. So just letting them uh, stay alive and all that makes me, you know, deprived of much needed resources as well as experience, you know, as I'm... Uh, as for experience, I leveled up, and so my first weapon 
is um, I mean it's a speed type and I already have five um, speed which is uh, which makes my kitchen knife uh, useful so I think I'll be going with the same build as my last as the last episode two speed one dexterity and one accuracy okay anyway let's fight this one again okay increased our accuracy to 52% with this type of enemy that's sort of a big deal sort of <laughs> ah 82% and I'm still missing what the fuck wasting my health and nothing much here okay let's go further down and this is one of my main problems the main reason that uh, that I ran out of uh, food because this um, generator really costs a lot of energy to fix well unless I have the required tool but of course most of the time I don't so that sucks enemy yet again I'm faring much better than my first playthrough or my first episode rather that's not exactly my first playthrough with the game but yeah you get what I mean although that's probably because I'm on normal difficulty so that's understandable I got a pipe and what's it what's its use for and it definitely has a higher higher damage ceiling than the kitchen knife however its lowest damage is quite low you know one compared to two but still it's just one damage difference I guess why not let's just see I, I can always just put my kitchen knife on the other hand okay as for food I'm running out of uh, how do you say this energy so I'll be using this canned food now that's good I still have my survival kit here just in case I really not ran out of food so yeah anyway let's try fighting this one and why am I using my kitchen knife yeah let's go with the pipe there we go damn that's uh, very strong <laughs> assuming that of course we get to hit with the uh, higher damage of course since the lowest damage is one kind of sucks oh, okay another phone here I still love you I'm waiting for you at our special place do you remember when we run into each other on the 84th floor okay let's go try going there okay why did the lights turn off or something I don't know whatever Anyway, should I try fighting it? Maybe I should use a med kit first. Just to be safe. And there we go, okay. So far so good. Another level up. As usual, speed, dexterity, accuracy. And another enemy. I don't even know why I picked up this game at Steam. <laughs> Probably because it was on sale. I guess most of us are guilty of that. <laughs> Buying random games just just because they're on discount. <laughs> but yeah, surprisingly, this uh, this game is kind of good. I kind of like it. Ah, another one of this again. Electrical tape, whatever. Ah, waste of time. Should I try again? Finally, okay, that's good. But we need food. How should I deal with this? Oh, I know. Maybe I should go back to my room and maybe make some food if I can. I can't, sadly. I just wasted one energy <laughs> from that. Anyway, I guess I'll eat hmm bread 
because some of these other things might be um, an ingredient for something that gives a lot more energy. So I'll save those for that. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I jumped <laughs> two floors. That's all right, I guess. But I, uh, I won't be fighting this enemy. This enemy is very annoying. As you can see here, it has higher um, chances of avoiding avoiding attacks as well as. But yeah, I forgot that I can't just um, run run away from enemies. Hopefully. And another thing that's annoying with this type of enemy is that it runs away. So yeah. Although you get to meet it eventually further down if you if you get lucky, but still there we go Did you see that it ran away and it's not even in the room where it ran away <laughs> So that's weird Anyway, let's go further down and another one of these damn it And it's different from the other one because it has full health Anyway, let's just continu continue for now and I have enough health to fight this one, so let's go. Okay, lucky. Just killed it with just two hits. Okay, I ran out of energy now. Maybe I should use my survival kit. I need to save up this food for crafting. So yeah, I think I'll go use this one. There we go. Full full energy. Maybe I should run or maybe I shouldn't. I've got no choice anyway. Oh, this is one of the uh this is one of the enemies we've encountered earlier. It al already has 3 health. So that's good. Time to kill it finally. Got some good stuff from it. Newton's blood. I don't even know what's that used for. And another enemy that I should risk fighting. There's a um, med box over there. Ah, damn it! 82, 84%, and I still miss. There we go. Small med kit. That's good. That's always good. Anyway, before we fight that, let's go use that med kit. I'm in need of health, especially with this kind of enemy. And this enemy is also one of the others we encountered earlier. It already has in um, reduced health. Ah, 79% and I miss. Anyway, darling is already here. You're late again. If you want to apologize, I'm on the 76th floor. Seriously? <laughs> Are you just trying to bait me or something? It's pretty much just like the the one with the daughter from earlier, from my first um, video. <laughs> well, hopefully um, this so-called darling is still alive by the time we get there. Anyway, what do we get if we use this coin? Yes, painkillers. That's always good. Whoops. I opened the newspaper clipping. We'll go read those later. Nice damage. Now we switch to a more reliable damage source. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good strategy. I'll be using with the pipe to deal huge damage on the head then to deal reliable damage I'll switch it with the knife then target um, um, body parts that has higher chances of getting hit so yeah that seems to be a good good how should I say this good strategy but anyway we got the crowbar here definitely better than my pipe 7 to 8 damage much better and yeah, that's pretty much it for now. That's significant damage boost. Another coin. And another one of these. 
At least we've got a crowbar now. Much stronger damage. And reliable damage, of course. Anyway, this is one of the others we've encountered earlier. Okay, that's good. It has a smaller, um, you know, damage ratio. Is that how you call it? Yeah, 7 to 8. So, it has very reliable damage. All those that we it still relies on accuracy, of course. <laughs> if we miss, if we miss. <laughs> yep, just like that. There you go. I've got low health, sort of. I think I have a med kit here. Yep. Let's use these or not. Yeah, let's use this. These uh, painkillers can be used to craft other med kits in the future, so I won't be using those. For now anyway, just a last resort, just in case we don't have any med kits. Anyway, this is getting much better. <laughs> We're prog progressing quite smoothly. Damn it, let me hit! <laughs> One hit. <laughs> that was good, that was good. Yeah, I'm <laughs> really liking that crowbar now. 20 damage. Okay, one more hit and it's, it'll be dead. Oh shit, what's this enemy? Anyway, it's just fighting it just to see. 56, it deals 25 to 27.4. Okay, that's much better. One more. Okay, then the whole body. And that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Good thing I was increasing my accuracy and my speed and dex. Thankfully, <laughs> I got across a good weapon early on. With early on, I mean, yeah, we're quite early in the game because we're still quite not, we're quite far from the, even from the uh, half of the tower. So, quick and easy. I'm getting a lot of stuff here. Anyway, who's this? Is this a live uh, living person? Okay. Hi there, I thought I was the only one alive, but I don't need friends. All I need is one thing. Axe, I will give you these antibiotics. I don't have any axe, sadly. Anyway, let's talk again. Yep, I don't, it doesn't change. He really needs a, an axe, but I don't have one. And I don't think that's quite a good deal, you know. I assume Axe has a high damage and antibiotics is not does not even restore that much that much health, so that's not a good deal at all. <laughs> even in this trying time trying times, people are trying to scam us. <laughs> anyway, let's go further. Much better, much better. Whoa! This is the first time I've encountered something like this. And she's quite agile. As you can see here, 36% for the head. I guess I'll go with this one for the 50%. Oh, and she has quite a lot of health. Holy shit. And she does double attacks. What the? I'll go with the reliable damage source. Ah, stop missing! I guess this is this isn't really reliable at all. The damage increase isn't even that much. Ah! God damn it, hit! And I can't heal myself. Let's go run. Hey, let me go back! Oh no! Am I gonna die here? I can't even access my um bag. Oh shit, <laughs> this is going to be a pretty short episode, guys. <laughs> why why did I encounter this? I should have ran away. I didn't even notice the health. That It's so high. Damn it. And I'm dead. Bandages, I know I have them somewhere. Yeah, it's in your bag, but we can't open it. Run! <laughs> I can't run. <laughs> Ah, this is a waste of an episode. And I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. 
Yeah. <laughs> We, I learned my lesson now. I gotta be careful <laughs> with the enemies I face. Gotta check that health bar. Gotta check that, um, you know, those hit 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 rate and all that. And yeah, that crowbar was really a waste. It was a good weapon, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to use it to the fullest because I was being careless, even on normal difficulty. <laughs> but yeah, for the next episode. I'll still keep going with the normal difficulty. It's quite manageable, at least as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I feel like that was a, a bad, bad um, playthrough. But still, it was quite fun <laughs> because you know, for even though it was quite short, I still got to move a lot far further compared to my first video and all that. But yeah, anyway. If you like the video, do like it, subscribe. Oops, <laughs> I keep um, saying subscribe first. Although, of course, sub subs are always nice. But still, of course, comment as well for, you know, comments, suggestions, criticisms, or whatever. Please <laughs> do comment, guys. I really like seeing comments, as I've mentioned in another, in other of, another of my videos. Uh, to be honest, I really prefer seeing likes or rather comments than likes and subs because you know seeing comments regardless of whether they're positive or negative but still you know they're quite tangible they're there you see that there there's actual people there you know in your comment section but still of course there are some YouTube bots out there which is quite annoying but yeah anyway. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.